Hello everybody, welcome. It is such a beautiful day here in Orlando, Florida, and we are here today at Disney's Animal Kingdom. As you can see, it is going to be an awesome day. I am so excited to be here. It is a wonderful weather out. We're going to have so much fun. We're going to try and grab some food, some snacks, get some rides in, check out all the animals, see if we can find any characters. It's going to be a blast today, so come along. I hope it's going to be a lot of fun. So one of the best reasons to be at Animal King during the daytime is all the amazing characters and entertainment that they have that they only have during the daytime hours. Now Disney's Animal Kingdom of course closes early, usually uh, in the winter, even in the summer now, it's usually closing at like 7 o'clock p.m. And so the only time you can actually see a lot of the characters and the entertainment and the things that you're going to want to see other than just the attractions and some of the animals is going to be during the daytime, which by the way is also... It, why it is so hot here. This is the hottest park. Um, it's only, I don't even know what the temperature is out to do today, maybe 90 degrees, but it already feels like it's 100 degrees. Like, we just got here and I'm already like, whew, it is so hot in this park. It is definitely the hottest park because of all of the foliage. All the trees, which you would think would bring shade somehow, the whole time you're walking in Animal Kingdom, there's no shade. There's literally no shade. Like all these trees and bushes and no shade. Like I don't understand. And then because of all the trees and bushes, all the moisture and everything and the trees, it actually makes it hotter um, in this area. So it is so hot in this park. But you got to come here during the daytime if you want to see all that stuff. You just have to be here. So. Um, you gotta, you gotta endure the heat. Oh wow, I finally get to see the fabled divine. I am so surprised. I feel like I never get to see her. God, look how hidden she is. So awesome. Look how cool. I mean, really, you could just walk right by her and you wouldn't even know she's there. If it wasn't for the fact that there was a couple of people standing here. I mean, it just blends right in. Look how awesome. That's so cool. Let's see if we can wait for her to pop her head out. Looks like she's waking up. Look at that. That's so cool. Wow, how cool was that? Uh, I never get to see her. That is so cool. Uh, she's only out during the day, usually in sort of the like noon, around the noon hour, and we're just almost never here during that time. So I always look for her, and I feel like I never get to see her. It's just like it's almost like one of those like rare character sightings. So that's exciting. I'm so glad we got to see her. Hey, I see the ringtail lemurs out. A couple of them actually. Just chilling out there, it's a perfect day. Oh, I bet they're just having a good old time lounging there. Got that nice water right there. These things are cool. Hey, you know what? Let's ride Expedition Everest uh, single rider line. So I think it's like a 45 minute wait right now. Check this out. I just walked in line. I'm already at the front. No wait. So uh, 
I'm telling you what, single rider, that's, just, that's, that's the way to go. Always do single rider. That's the way to go. All right, here we go, Expedition Everest. Woo, cave ride. That's the ride. <clears throat> Man, I'm losing my voice after that. You know what? That was so fast. <laughs> we're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again. And we're gonna do it again. And we're gonna do it. I'm just gonna keep doing it. I don't have to wait in line for like two seconds. Oh, look, there's Kevin. Another rare character sighting. I feel like I never get to see Kevin. Kevin. See, this is why you come to Animal Kingdom during the day, because these things are not, I'm telling you, these characters are not out at nighttime. Like, at like three or four o'clock, poof, all gone. Like they just disappear, evaporate, so. I never get to see Kevin. Uh, I, I mean, this is, this is awesome. I haven't, I feel like I haven't been to Animal Kingdom in the daytime in so long. It's, I feel like it's a new experience. I feel like I've never been here before. Oh, it looks like they have it. It's been so long, I had to come over here and check. Oh, uh, haha. <laughs> they told me they would never have it again, that they were out forever. The best popcorn Disney has ever made. Pandora popcorn. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Now, they brought it back. Um, after they said they would never have it again, I found it like a, like a month ago. But I was like, maybe they just had some leftovers. But it looks like... It's back. I'm telling you, if you haven't tried this, you got to give it a go. It's so good. Wow, what a cool eating spot. Check that out. This bird's hanging out right behind me. Um, I think they want some of my food, but I see them eating stuff up the, up the ground. Oh, that one's staring at me. Look at it. 
There's like a bunch of them, but cool eating spot. Anyhow, um, it's time to eat. I'm starving. <laughs> I've been waiting to eat since I got here. It's uh, about an hour past lunchtime, so I cannot wait to jump in. And uh, we've got some awesome food for you today. I'm telling you, this stuff looks amazing. I had forgotten that they even had this particular food item, so I am massively excited to uh, try this thing. So I stopped at the Eight Spoon Cafe. Uh, it's just basically a little busted booth uh, right along the main street there as you're headed over towards Yak and Yeti and Expedition Everest. Right before you get to the bridge, right on the left there is Eight Spoon Cafe. And they have some amazing dishes that have to do with barbecue and pulled pork. Now, normally I would say go to Flame Tree Barbecue for all of your barbecue needs because that place is popping. Like that place got the barbecue on lock. Actually, Disney, in my, in my opinion in general, Disney has barbecue on lock. It's one of the few things that Disney does amazingly well. Well, that and the Mickey pretzel. So, um, I've got a couple of dishes for us today and I'm excited to try them. The first dish that we're going to take a look at is the pulled pork jelly donut sandwich. What? Yes, pulled pork stuffed jelly donut comes with coleslaw on top. It's got barbecue sauce in it. It's got a jelly donut. I mean, come on, like that sounds amazing. I also got oh, an awesome side of barbecue sauce here, just in case I need a little bit of extra. They hooked me up with a side uh, free of charge. So I cannot wait to try this thing. It looks awesome. I don't know how to eat it. Low key, I, I low key just kind of want to pick it up and bite into it. But um, yeah, actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. Forget it. I was thinking about cutting it, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to go with the flow. Now I am a fan of uh, donuts, like glazed donut sandwiches. I think it's awesome. It's like the, totally. I think it's like the perfect blend of like savory and sweet. But this one had a special kicker to it, which is the jelly donut part. Um, and I can see all that like gooey gooey jelly in the bottom there. All right, let's give it a rip. Mmm. Okay. Okay, so that was as messy to eat as I thought it was going to be. I got to get swig from that. Whew. There's a lot happening in, in that bite. Um, wow, that was actually really awesome. Uh, I love that, like, sweet donut. It's, like, nice and soft. That jelly kicked in there. And the slaw gave that little bit of crunch with that pulled pork in there. One of the things that I feel like got lost, though, was the barbecue sauce. So I'm actually gonna try it again. I wanna try it again, but I actually wanna add a little bit of barbecue because it needed a little bit more savory. It was, it was very sweet. I feel like it needed a little bit more savory to it. So we're gonna kick it up a notch with this barbecue sauce on here. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. That's getting it good. Okay, let's give it another try with the extra barbecue sauce on there. I'm hoping that just makes it sing. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah! Can you feel that, buddy? Huh? 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 <clears throat> oh. That was it. That was the money. Right there. That was money. I mean, gosh, this thing is so messy. <laughs> it's like the messiest thing I think we've ever eaten. I mean, it has so much stuff happening there. Look at that jelly, you see that jelly? It's just like oozing out of that donut in there. It's actually a really fantastic flavor, almost kind of like a, um, it doesn't taste like this, but um, you can you can think of it as like, like in the, at Thanksgiving time, like a tur like like the turkey sandwiches they have, sometimes have that like cranberry relish on it. It's kind of similar to that kind of thing. It doesn't taste like that. It really tastes like amazing pulled pork sandwich with coleslaw and just like some sweetness from the bread. And then it's got that little kicker of like sweet jelly. I think it's like a strawberry jelly, which by the way, I love jelly donuts. So if you don't like jelly donuts, maybe this isn't the option for you, but for me, I love jelly donuts. And then this barbecue sauce, that hits. That gives it, man, what is that? I gotta, I gotta try this barbecue sauce just by itself. It's got like this amazing flavor. Oh man, that barbecue's good. Honestly, I could just put this barbecue sauce on an old boot. I need that. 
and I'd probably be telling him, singing praises about it. Ooh, it's got a little bit of kick to it. It's got like a little bit of spiciness on the barbecue sauce. It's like a vinegary flavor barbecue sauce, too. It's not too sweet. It doesn't need to be sweet because this thing is so sweet as it is. And then this like vinegary, spicy barbecue sauce. It's just layered on top of it. Oh my goodness, I love it. Oh, it's so good. It's only $6.99. That's crazy to me. $6.99. This thing is absolutely monstrous. I think this is the same barbecue sauce they use at Flame Tree Barbecue. It's amazing. Um, I love this. This is a phenomenal sandwich. Um, I, 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 can, I can't even move on to the next one um, until I get another bite of this thing. Get a little bit, look at there. A little bit more of that barbecue on there. Ooh, oh, yeah, layer it. If you like a uh, like a vinegary barbecue sauce, you're gonna love this stuff. Oh man, look at that, I can't wait. This is actually better than I thought it was going to be. I had high hopes, but it's actually better than I thought it was going to be. Gosh, that thing was so good. I don't even know if I want to move on to the next item, but uh, I guess we have to because, it I mean, gosh, it's good. Uh, but I also got, I probably should have just got one thing, honestly, but hey, you know what? We're trying to today. And um, I got the baked macaroni and cheese, baked macaroni and cheese with pulled pork, barbecue sauce, and pickles. Oh my goodness, this thing looks amazing. Already, I'm getting like my mouth starting to water. It smells terrific. This is only six dollars and seventy nine cents. It's basically the same price as the pulled pork sandwich. So it's it basically it's a meal unto itself. Let me just give you a, a let me let me let me show you the size of this because it looked a lot smaller on the sign than it actually is. Look at it. It's huge. It's it's an entire meal to itself. It's actually the same size. I feel like if not bigger. Man, probably about the same size as the donut sandwich. Um, it's a little bit heavier though, because all that mac and cheese in there. But there's a there's a hefty amount of pulled pork on there. So I want to give this a rip. I mean, it looks fantastic. I got some extra barbecue. I'll probably think uh, I'm gonna bet that I'm gonna need it. But let's just give it a rip the way it's the way it is. Oh man, it looks good. I got a lot happening here. It smells that's the barbecue sauce. Just smells so good. All right, here we go. Swoosh, and that's the game! What? Oh my goodness, this is also really good. Um, I'm actually trying to figure out, I need to try just the mac and cheese by itself. I guess just, I just gotta try the mac and cheese by itself with like, with like no, no barbecue sauce on it or anything. I just want to see the flavor of the, of the mac and cheese. It's like a strong cheddar cheese or... Mm. Wow, that's... That's actually surprisingly solid mac and cheese. It's definitely not like the Kraft mac and cheese, like heavy cheddar cheese flavor. It's more like almost like a white cheese mac and cheese. Like that, like lighter cream flavored mac and cheese. Um, it's probably a white cheddar or something in there, um, but it's actually pretty light, um, which I really dig. You can tell it's baked. It, the, the actual noodles are perfectly cooked. They're like slightly al dente, uh, which I was surprised about because I thought these noodles, you know, at Disney when they do these like big large batches of stuff, these noodles get super overcooked. But I think because it's uh, been baked, it's just perfection. It's got a little bit of like crispiness to it on the edges. Oh, and with that buff, with that barbecue sauce, there's another level. Oh my goodness. That mac and cheese with that barbecue is phenomenal. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna get some of this mac and cheese. I'm gonna get some of this pulled pork. 
and then we're going back in, folks. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We're going back in. Oh, yeah. Get that. Oh, look at that. Scooping. Oh, with that extra barbecue. Uh -huh. I am not like I don't go to barbecue restaurants ever like I never go to barbecue restaurants um, I'm just not a huge barbecue person but this is so good man that thing is loaded with pulled pork it has so much okay I definitely I got okay I gotta do it all together now we haven't even tried the pickles I'm curious I'm curious all right we're doing it all we're doing it all I'm gonna get a little bit of that extra sauce in there I'm gonna take that pickle there look at that oh yeah look at that it smells, it smells kind of like a, uh, I don't know, I think maybe it's a bread and butter pickle. I don't know. Let's do it. The whole thing. Look at that. Oh, let's do the whole thing. It looks so good. It's the best day. I don't even know what to say. My, I might be speechless, folks. That's never happened, right? I don't even know what to say. It's so good. It's so good. It got... How did it get better? It went from the first bite was good. Then I added a little bit of barbecue sauce. It got better. Then I added barbecue sauce and the pickle, and it got better again. I need to go back up there and ask him for a whole bowl of pickles. Barbecue, pulled pork, mac and cheese, pickle, all together, one bite. Absolutely money, like spectacularly good. Oh my gosh, they're holding out on me on those pickles. I gotta go get some more, honestly. Like I, I really just wanna walk up there and get some more pickles. I'm telling you, this is absolutely spectacular. This barbecue sauce, do not get this food and walk away without getting an extra side of barbecue sauce. Um, you got to do it. They didn't offer it. I just asked and they hooked me up. Then they didn't have to pay for it. So, um, oh my gosh, this is so good. I don't know what I like better. Mac and cheese, good. Pulled pork, good. Jelly donut, good. Barbecue sauce, good. Man, this is so good. I, I don't even, but I will say this. Only get one. Don't get both. It's too much. It's too much. There's too much food here now. Too much pulled pork. Each one of these things is a meal unto itself. If you just get mac and cheese on the side and not the pulled pork mac and cheese, maybe that's good. Get the sandwich and the mac and cheese. But I think with the pulled pork mac and cheese and the sandwich, it's too much for me. It might not be too much for other people, but it's a lot. It's a lot of pulled pork and it's a lot of barbecue. Um, so maybe just choose one and you're in and out with like for like seven bucks You got to try this. I'm so surprised. This is like just this little busted booth over here like this chintzy little Busted booth and I don't know about you all but when you're looking in the Disney my experience app and you're scrolling through all the restaurants and the places to eat a place called eight spoon cafe Isn't really getting attention for me. It ain't something that I'm looking at like. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a good rep You're looking at like you know, restaurant Asaurus and Pizza Bari and Flame Tree Barbecue and Yak and Yeti, all these cool restaurants. Eight Spoon Cafe. Like, what? Who would have thought? This food's kicking. I'm telling you, you gotta try it. Eight Spoon Cafe. It's this busted little booth. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. That's a wrap. What an awesome day I had at Animal Kingdom. I am so glad that you came along with me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm really just surprised. At that Egg Spoon Cafe, like I, it was a sleeper hit to me. I'm so surprised by it. Have you ever eaten there? I'm just curious, has anybody tried it? Has anybody eaten anything from that place? I don't know, it just seems so unassuming to me. I don't know what I've been doing with my life. I missed out on it for so many years. So, hope you enjoyed this episode. Let us know what you thought. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, share. So I see you next time, the noble way is the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody.